Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 2019 SIHH release that might have been JLC's best new watch of the year, based on the smash hit Chameleon Dial of 2018's Reverso Tribute Small Second. This is the Reverso Tribute Small Second with metallic, almost Bordeaux red dial. An absolute stunner in stainless steel. The watch is surprisingly wearable at 45.6 millimeters from lug to lug by 27.4 millimeters wide by only 8.4 millimeters thick. It is a very thin watch with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, this one wears well. You can see that the case back is cambered. Post-2016 JLC Reverso cases started to have a little bit of downward kick to the lugs so they would wear better on smaller wrists and fit less like a plank. Well, that's certainly the case. Being less than 46 millimeters across the wrist, it's easy to wear on a smaller wrist, and JLC straps are now much more flexible and mobile on Reverso cases than they used to be. So I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as even 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Now we'll take a look at the hardware and the software here. The first surprise is that the strap is actually designed by Casa Faliano out of Argentina, the famed folks who created a limited edition set of straps for JLC, and they're better known for their aristocratic polo boots, but they created the design here, and I believe Camille Fournay out of Paris, JLC's OEM supplier, actually created, fabricated the strap. So Faliano Collection. It is a beautiful red to match the dial, almost Bordeaux, a little bit lighter and a little bit redder. You can see it is a sheer-sided strap showing you the layers of leather with a monotone stitch. It is buttery soft. You can see when I said that JLC now makes the straps more flexible and mobile, it used to be that Reverso straps would fight you and kick out. Now there's a little recess in the case that allows them to move unimpeded and pull straight down around a small wrist. Calfskin on the top, calfskin on the bottom. There's a high-polished stainless steel full deployment, which is refreshing in an era when many JLC watches now include pin buckles to cut costs. You will not be dropping your watch by accident here. You'll also appreciate that there is a push button release, so you can quickly and easily remove the buckle from the strap if you wish to swap straps. That's made even easier by the use of pull tab spring bars, something JLC is now fitting on more and more of its watches. Your fingernails, all that's required to remove the strap. You can see the case back does have those somewhat canted and angled cambered lugs and a little bit of curvature to the case back which features a vertical satination. The timepiece has a classic Reverso case with conical lug profiles squared off and cropped, polished lug hoods, polished case blanks. You have a combination of the rectilinear geometries. The watch looks very rectangular from the front when you view it online, but when viewed from any other angle, it's actually a combination of curves and creases, and you can really see the vaulted barrel-like shape of the case and the gadroons or the strakes running around the case. Now, of course, with a Reverso, the rotating case is the hook. The original idea was that in 1931, polo players in India needed a watch whose actual glass crystal, because it was glass at the time, would be protected from mallets. Well, the idea was that you would have a steel case back and a rotating case, and then you would flip it back after the game, and you would be able to read the time. Well, obviously, that's no longer necessary in the world of sports, so this is a dress watch with a lovely sunburst pattern that became more common after 2016 the 85th anniversary of the Reverso. We also still have the polished case back, which today can be customized with lacquering, enameling, or engraving, and JLC will even customize the watch if you send it back to the factory. Inside the case, which by the way, consists of over 50 pieces, including seals, you have a JLC caliber 822-2 movement. Manual wind, 21,600 vibration per hour beat rate, 21 joules, 45 hour power reserve, 30 meters water resistant, which is exceptional because until 1984, no Reverso had any water resistance. The movement is properly shaped for a rectangular watch. Of course, the timepiece also goes through the master 1,000 hours control, which means it is a 1,000 hour test of power reserve, shock resistance, water resistance, and chronometric precision. One of the first tests in the industry to go beyond the basic two-week test of the COSC. The master 1,000 hours control is a test of the full watch. Finally, you have this extravagant metallic red dial. It's not quite Bordeaux. It's getting there, but it's redder than that, and it's lighter and it's brighter because of its reflectivity. There's 
includes a railroad track outboard, small second circular. You have faceted and polished Dauphine hands at center, and then diamond polished and faceted baton style applique with dart ends. It is a gorgeous watch. It absolutely looks the business, and if you're going to own just one JLC, you're probably going to want to own one like this, a Reverso. This or a Memovox that is the heart and soul of La Grande Maison. Email teamasso at thewatchbox.com to own the sensation of 2019.